pretty. I love it. I think I think they're really cute. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Anna Nicole, and as you can tell by today's title or the title of today's video, in today's video, I will be prepping myself for Valentine's Day. So, unfortunately, I have, or fortunately, depending on how you want to look at it, I have absolutely nothing planned for Valentine's Day, but that doesn't mean we can't be cute. That doesn't mean we can't get ourselves together. And you know, Valentine's Day is the day of love. So it's time for me to show myself some self love. <laughs> but yes, so if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned and let's get into the video. So I just finished filming a try on haul. And as you can see, I just have a ton of mess that I need to clean up. So you cannot have a self care video while having a dirty background. So I'm about to time lapse this, clean this up really quickly. And then we can jump into getting all cute and everything. very quick i'm so surprised at how quick um how quickly i did that but now i think it's time to do some like actual self-care like waxing and shaving and i'm going to do that right now but first i have been dying to make one of these and i finally went to the store yesterday and got some eggs so i am so excited to make one of these. I haven't decided which one I want to make yet. Honestly, red velvet is like my favorite type of cake, so I might do this. And I've been wanting to try like my mini pan, so I'll probably use that as well. And yeah, decorate this for this vlog. Ah, what, what better video to do this in than a Valentine's Day video? So while the oven heats up, I decided I want to go ahead and do my nails. So I've been trying to let my nails grow out, which is the only reason I'm not going to go get like fake nails put on but yeah I've basically just been trying to let them grow out take care of them as much as possible and right now they honestly just look disgusting because I have like a clear on them and the clear wasn't dry before I started doing other things so I'm about to take that off now take off the clear polish and I figured I could go through my nail polish collection and find like a cute pink or something yeah I wouldn't want to do like red but like a cute pink or like, I don't know, maybe even a lighter pink. I'm going to prep my nails and then paint them and then we can have girly pink nails for Valentine's Day. Okay, for reference, a quick reference, this is before, ew. So much better, so much better. And now I'm going to shave them down. a base coat and a top coat when I'm polishing my own nails and honestly sometimes I just put the clear on and just leave it that way just because I like to have some type of protection on my nails so I literally cannot decide between these two this one is more of just a can you really see it just like a plain pink it's I don't know how to explain it like this one's more of like a cloudy pink and this one is more of a sheer pink. Just a sheer pink i think they're really cute there's nothing too special my nails keep chipping so honestly i consider putting on fake nails but i'm trying to let them grow they just keep chipping me they just keep chipping and doing me dirty also the oven finished heating up a while ago i kind of don't want to use the red velvet because i don't want to mess it up with this six inch pan okay actually i'm going to do this one because 
the six inch band is really a trial run here, so. to do two separate pants. If it doesn't work out, I'm just really glad I didn't do the red velvet one. Oh, this is so cute. I really hope this works out. So, okay, looking at the instructions, every time it goes down an inch, it um, adds five minutes. So since this is six inches and the last one is the eight inch, I'm going to add 10 minutes. So I will leave this in for about 44 to 48 minutes. Oh, okay, fingers crossed that works out because I really truly want some cake or I would just love to decorate a cake for this vlog and If that doesn't work out then I'm really gonna be so sad But anyways now I'm about to take my shower and actually get myself physically prepared for Valentine's Day So first things first if you've been watching my vlog you guys saw me go to a Bath and Body Works and treat myself and I got this coffee and whiskey shea butter cleansing bar and this is what I've been using in the shower and then also I use the Dr. Teal's body wash and then this is the sugar scrub I've been using recently I got it from Bath and Body Works in the same video that I got the coffee and whiskey soap bar so this is the open your mind lavender and sandalwood salt body scrub once again from Bath and Body Works and I love this this is also what I will be using before I shave my hairy legs. And before I get in the shower, I'm gonna show you guys a quick before of my legs. And then I'll show you an after when I get out. Okay, I am fresh and out of the shower and I'm gonna check on the cake in just a quick second. But I wanted to update you guys on my legs. They are so smooth. They look so good, yes. Also update on the cake. I'm pretty sure I was not supposed to put that or all of that in there, but I mean, it hasn't fallen over yet, so that's okay. That's okay, it's a learning process, we're learning. I'm putting aloe vera gel on my face right now, as per usual, I do this literally every night, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, every morning as well. And I will be doing a face mask tonight as well, so I'm excited about that. I feel like I haven't done a face mask in so long, definitely not on camera. But before I do the face mask, I'm going to let this aloe vera gel sit and everything and we're about to wax my armpits. I would be lying if I said this is my favorite part, but honestly, I'm not going to procrastinate pulling the little strip off. I'm not doing that today. We're just going to rip her off and make this process as quick as possible. The wax is warm and good to go. And I have the little sticks and strips ready as well so let's get started like always i'm going to use this powder and just go ahead and put it under just one arm first Ugh, i'm not going to procrastinate this all right one two three ah <laughs> that's worst case scenario ow okay i'm all done and let me just say i strongly strongly with a passion dislike doing that okay so this is the face mask i have been using recently and i actually just took it out of the freezer and let it sit so it will probably be very cold which i'm definitely looking forward to the first time i used this i used entirely oh so cold entirely too much Oh my gosh, this is way, this is so cold, but it goes on so nice. I love this so much. Wait, what is this even called? It's the Freeman Natural Skin Care Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Gel Cream Mask. So I grabbed it because of the hyaluronic acid, which gets a lot of hype. And honestly, I mean, my skin has been clearing up and um, I stopped using it. And then my skin stopped clearing up. <laughs> I started breaking out a little bit more. So we're gonna try it again to see if it was just like a placebo or if this actually works and helps. Also the cake stopped. There were so many technical difficulties with that cake, but I will keep you updated on that 
I'm just very glad I did not try the red velvet one like that because I will be making a red velvet one following the directions because I take my red velvet cake very seriously. But yeah, face mask is on. It feels amazing. I cannot wait to show you guys what it looks like when I rinse it off. Good morning, you guys. My face is still blue <laughs> from that face mask from last night. So let's rinse it off. Every time I do those face masks, my skin feels so smooth and so hydrated. It already looks way more <laughs> hydrated, but I'm still going to put some aloe vera gel on and some uh, moisturizer as well. I'm so happy that I have braids because that just makes my morning just so much easier. The cake also came out yesterday and it actually came out so cute. I already um, cut the top of it so that it's like even and everything. And yeah, so we can decorate that as soon as I'm done here or as soon as I get dressed. Okay, so here is the cake. I think it's so cute and so tiny. And I'm going to be using this vanilla frosting, this pink frosting. It also has this on it, so I think it'll turn out really, really cute. Boy, I love this. pretty i love it so much now i'm about to put some of these um cute little hearts on it <laughs> i think it's so cute i am honestly so proud of how this came out and i try to use as much as possible because i don't really know what to do with this now because it's not like it closes or anything so this is what the cake looks like i think she's so cute and yeah that is actually going to conclude this valentine's day prep vlog thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you all right back next time with another video bye guys